Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on the channel. Um, my voice is a bit quiet today because it is somewhat late at night, so um, apologies for that. But we are coming at you with a trade update. Um, the first day of free agency movement kicked off today. There were two free agency moves, the first one being James Jordan moving from Melbourne to my team, the Sydney Swans, and the second was Matt Flynn moving from GWS to the Eagles. Now, I'm just going to quickly go over my thoughts on, first of all, James Jordan coming to the Swans. Um, so I think I think it's a pretty good, pretty good pickup by us. Dylan Stevens obviously requested a trade to North Melbourne, and James Jordan can play on the wing. He did so during the 2021 and 2022 seasons. Uh, 2023, Lockie Hunter kind of took that wing spot. He still played a bit on the wing, but a bit uh, of inside mid as well, and quite often was the sub. So ended up falling out of favour towards the end of the season with Melbourne. So that's obviously why he requested a trade. Um, and he chose us. I don't know if he knew whether Dylan Stevens was leaving, and he saw that as an opportunity to take back his wing spot that he earned at Melbourne. Um, so Dylan Stevens wasn't exactly um, a best 22 lock for us, but he did end up making the grand final team in 2022, so clearly he was a decent player. And I think that James Jordan is pretty much a like-for-like -like replacement for him. So, you know, it's just it's just a bit of midfield depth. Also, Callum Mills is going to be out for half of next season, potentially all of it. Um, I, I've heard reports that are saying it could, his uh, Mad Monday shoulder injury could result in him missing the entirety of the 2024 season. So if we need him to, he can play inside mid got Sheldrick in there as well um so I, I'd say I say that Sheldrick would take that inside mid spot and then Jordan goes on to the wing where Stevens uh would be playing um but then if there's another injury he could also go inside inside mid as well because we have J-Mac and Goulden who can also play on the wing so yeah overall I think this is a good good pick up um, I think he's a, a decent player. You know, he's he's obviously not a superstar, but not everyone in your team can be superstars. You need the role players as well. And that's exactly what I think James Jordan is going to be. Now moving on to the other trade, that is Matt Flynn going to the West Coast Eagles. Um, obviously couldn't really get a game uh, at GWS. Uh, in 2021, he was battling um, for a spot with Shane Mumford. In 2022, he was battling for a spot with um, Braden Pruce. And in 2023, the man, the myth, the legend, Kieran Briggs came along and locked his place in that GWS team in the second half of the year. Arguably one of the best ruckmen in the competition. So Matt Flynn had a some some pretty heavy competition and in the end he just couldn't get a game and he requested a trade to the Eagles so he's going to be uh in partnership with Bailey Williams Bailey Williams was drafted as a ruck forward so you know he can go forward he, he's obviously played pretty much entirely ruck throughout his AFL career so far but um now with Matt Flynn coming into the team Flynn will probably I'd say he'd take um, the the main ruck role, but Bailey Williams would be um, the second ruck. He'd play forward, chip in um, when Matt Flynn goes on the bench, and uh, yeah, play that second ruck role. So a good pick up for them. Uh, both of them were unrestricted free agents, so uh, the teams Melbourne and GWS couldn't match the offers to uh, force a trade has had to yeah receive the compensation that they got which was so here you can see uh 
Sydney in the free agency move obviously received James Jordan. Melbourne got second round compensation in pick number 39. And then pretty similar for the other one, GWS got second round compensation with pick 40. So, um, yeah, that'll pretty much wrap up this video. Um, it'll probably be out fairly late in the night, if not um, the following day after this is recorded, which would be the second day in the free agency period. Uh, I ended up spending like an hour or two trying to make the thumbnail, and in the end I wasn't even really that happy with it. I just decided, ah, it's good enough, I'll settle with it. So um, apologies for this video coming out so late. But um, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about today. There were a few other murmurs and rumours going along and a few other developments, um, which I'll talk about probably in a later video. Uh, Joel Hamling requested a trade to us, so a bit of key defensive depth there. Don't know if he'd be a best 22 player, um, potentially, maybe that now that Paddy McCartan has retired, maybe he would be, but I don't know. Um, and Clayton Oliver also is going to remain with the D's, so there's going to be no more developments on that. But uh, yeah, if you did enjoy the video, leave a like and subscribe. Um, comment down your thoughts on some potential trade predictions and uh, what you think about these two moves that um, have already happened. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.